Okay. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to have your group, and uh, Rusty can't mention this already. We're going to have your group take the, the top card on your and read it. Um, and then I want you to read both uh, the front and the back of it. And then I'll come over and grab it from you and we'll put it on the board. And I'm going to slap them up here. Uh, it will group the cards from the groups uh, by round. So, you know, we'll say, you know, these are the, what everybody in each group thought was highest priority and then second highest. And we'll kind of go down the line that way to try and keep them in that order. But what I don't want you guys to feel like is because I picked one table, their card is more important than the next table I pick. <laughs> All right? What am I forgetting? Is that it? Yeah, well, you can stay in your seat, you know, just read the card, and then one of us, Kyle, will come grab it, and we'll stick it up. All right. Just start who wants here, to yeah. read? So, yeah, who wants to go first? Oh, big hand up there. Okay. Oh, then he volunteered somebody else. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 Who's going first? Yeah, I'll go first. As an admin, I want to create the environment to host the website. So that the website will, can handle 150 users. What about condition satisfaction? <laughs> website functionality. Website functionality. Oh, for, for general. Yeah. Functional. Functional. Yeah, functioning. <laughs> functionality. All right. So I'm going to go to the left because I'm left-handed, and I always like to do things backwards. Uh, we will go counterclockwise. So next group over here. Who's, who's going to read from your group? Uh, <laughs> this is done when uh, we'll have a submission process. Um, they will have to have an abstract of topic. Um, they'll have to be notified to fill out a speaker page. <coughs> once it's through, they'll be out of register. All right. That one is brushing with the, I want this, so I have this. Um, but I think the conditions of acceptance on the back, and acceptance criteria on the back, help, help to clarify exactly what's going on there. Good. Next. As a sponsor, I want I want to access participant info so that I can identify potential recruits. This will be done when I can export available information to a spreadsheet and cross-reference attendees with a declared list of, declared list of interest of the attendees. Mm. <clears throat> nice. Well played. All right. And last but certainly not least, our host perspective group. We had, uh, as a perspective member, I want to know what the next event is so I can decide if I want to attend. That's good. That's done well. okay. And it's done when we know what, when, where, who else, sponsor. But if I read your news and acceptance. All right, any thoughts about that? <coughs> Questions, comments? All right. How long will we do this one? 30 minutes. Really? And may, we may get through a lot of cards. Yep. All right. Let's go back there. Second card on the pile. As an admin, I want to create an, create events. Users are aware of activities. Individuals can sign up for our event. Oh, one thing I did not mention is that if another group reads your story, exactly, verbatim, um, you can skip to the next story in your pile. If you think the stories are just very similar, go ahead and read them up. That's not a problem. That happens sometimes. All right. Next. You guys. As an attendee, uh, I want to register so I can attend the event. And this is done when um, I can submit my phone number and contact information, make a payment online or at the door. Um, receive a confirmation, print my ticket, and uh, create a, pro a profile, and then you get an email to complete that. That was very good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Next group. I'm purposely <laughs> pausing in between cards to give you guys a chance to comment. If you want to, feel free to comment. All right. Next group. As a sponsor. I want to uh, I want to receive a list of participant email addresses so that I can send advertising material. 
This will be done when I get weekly updates. It's an Excel or database format and is complete at conclusion of final event. Seems like that was just like another one we had. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a little bit different. So. All right. Uh, you guys, right? Well, no, yes. I lose track. Sorry, guys. Just keep me on the task here. So, as a prospective member, I want to know about past events. I want to know if, uh, so that I can know if I want to decide to attend. Um, this is done when I know when, where, what happened. And I got the documents and video. Okay. Yeah, see that docket to video really clarifies the so that form. Yeah, that's a, that's a big ask. It's good because I, I think I told another group this too. A lot of times those conditions of acceptance lead to other user stories. So when we break these stories down further during, you know, after this meeting, we'll take them and start thinking about them. We'll create filler stories for stuff like that too. Can I ask a question? Who is the group that's making the user stories? Who are the participants in that meeting? The, so what generally happens is uh, someone, you know, someone, okay, let's just take a scenario. You've got um, a situation where you've got a process that needs to be automated. And so there's you know, two people that are spending a lot of time doing Excel spreadsheets and stuff. There's their boss and maybe that guy, that person's boss. So they'll come and say, you know, look, we have this process, it's out of control, we really need help. And so it's, those, it's like the end users, it's the maybe a domain expert who really knows about that system that they're doing, maybe it's an accounting system, so you need kind of a domain expert for that, and you know, the supervisor and, and so forth. So it's kind of you try to get a representative end user or something. So, so I'm going to turn it for a second. Yeah. Using this scenario, okay. the product owner, the product sponsor, and the developers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so like one of their questions was, you know, now now you're charging for the event, which I, I would have said was scope creep from what we had originally talked about in the beginning. At what point do you check for that? It's a good point. So a lot of times we will we will come back to the objective and say, oh, you know what? That doesn't seem like it is in line with the objective. So maybe, maybe we should have brought that up when we heard that story. Um, or does it? I don't know. We could take a look. Website to facilitate execution of user group meetings for participants, sponsors, events, communication in a secure, accessible format. Um, it's a little different today because we don't have, you know, we don't truly have that customer stakeholder group that is knows about this domain and is passionate about it and already has thought about it. So yeah, generally you probably wouldn't get too much coming outside of the scope of this, but it would be something where we would say, oh, you know what? That seems like we're getting a little out. Should we, should we change the objective? Maybe that's the maybe that's the answer. Maybe this objective isn't quite right. But today, you know, I probably just have to decide. I'd like to do you know, and I, I want to answer your question with a concrete example because it's yeah. a little bit different than the you know the theoretical example that Rusty provided. We built a system at the Department of Roads called the Electronic Action Form System. This is a system that police officers throughout the state of Nebraska will use. It's a website that police officers throughout the state of Nebraska will use to um, submit accident reports to the Department of Roads. Every accident is re you're required as a police officer to submit an accident report for. Um, and so when you look at that, because it was a challenge for us, who do we invite to this kind of a meeting in that case? And as you guys can imagine, it wouldn't just be the team inside of the Department of Roads responsible for recording the accidents. That was one set of people that were there. But we'd also want some sort of representation for the police officers who are going to use the system. And um, when we started to break that down, now we're talking about, okay, that's a wide array. You can't just invite one officer from Lincoln Police. You've got to think about you know, small town police departments, rural police departments, sheriffs who work in three different counties, you know, that kind of stuff. So trying to find that representation for this kind of a meeting without making the meeting this big is a challenge always, I think. Does that help answer your question? So, you know, it would be developers, of course, uh, but it's also representatives of the different types of users who are in your system. So, you know, when you look at this, hopefully you've got some of these represented in this meeting. Yeah, 
like. He thought about if today we had Adam Barney and Ken in this meeting, we probably wouldn't need a sponsor. I mean, they've worked with enough sponsors that they're like, yeah, I, I kind of know what they want, but man, if we could have a sponsor here, that'd be probably well, really using, good. Using your example, how do you keep the police officer from throwing in user stories or features that they want? And maybe that's where the ranking comes in, actually. Maybe I'm getting ahead. That, that's exactly okay. it. We don't, we don't care. Throw in whatever you want. Yeah. When the sponsor and the, I mean, everyone gets a chance to rank in this process. And you guys will get into that a little bit. Um, but in the end, the project sponsor and the product owner have to work together to, and the, and the sponsor typically has the final say, right? They're, they're paying for the project. So the, the sponsor usually has final say in what that order is. So, and then, you know, low priority stories, they fall out. And you'll see it happen, because I'm sure that's gonna happen up here. Um, so do you guys yeah. usually have users developing these stories with you as kind of a collaborative process, or is it more sitting down, going through the discovery, okay, great, sitting down, taking what you learned during discovery, putting it into user stories, and then going, how, how do you guys? We, we want, you guys are users of this system, we want you to write the stories with us. We help, we facilitate, but I don't want my developers writing all the stories. Um, I don't want a business analyst writing all the stories. Because then you're, you're putting words, in a sense, into the customer's mouth. Plus, they take a really, you know, they take a sense of ownership for these things because they've written them. Uh, they also come up with uh, so that's and conditions of acceptance or acceptance criteria that I could never imagine, you know. Um, and it allows them to be involved in the process, and we get an end result at the end of this that might take uh, two or three meetings to get to because we got to write all this stuff up and we give it to them and they review it all and then they mark it up and they send it back to us, you know. The whole documentation process. That's that's where we're at. Um, the one thing I would say about the developers uh, is, if you, are you guys familiar with the chicken and pig story? I mean, this is kind of agile folklore. You know, developers in this scenario. I mean, in this scenario, are more chickens, which is odd because usually they're they're pigs, right? They're invested in the, in the restaurant. Um, so, but in this scenario, there are more chickens. They're there listening. It's the users who are trying to get us to a, to an end product. Did I overly answer that question? Okay, where were we? Because I'm totally lost. Are we here? Are we here? Well, I could look up here and find out. <laughs> That's right. Four cards. Four, two, we only have four cards. Or two. Yeah, we have five because we wrote one together on one. Oh, okay. okay. That's right. As an admin, I want to get sponsors' content on the site so that sponsors can promote their company. This is done when the sponsors promote it on the website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chuckles on that. Yeah. It is just, okay. It's kind of like a dog chasing. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the struggle I'm having. And by the way, guys, I'm, I'm being a little nicer maybe today than I might normally be. Sometimes when we're in a group, depending on how familiar I am with the people, I'll start correcting their cars as they come up here. Not like, ah, that's wrong, you know. <laughs> but more just trying to help flesh out some of the some of the ideas on there. And when I hear, you know, I want to do, I want a web form online so that I can have a web form online. You know, then <laughs> I, got, I got to start breaking it down. And so anyway. Uh, next. As a speaker, I want to have my own profile page uh, so that attendees can have background on speaker and knowledge of the talk. Uh, this will be done when there's a bio, a photo, a title, links to social accounts, contact information required to create profile, uh, emailed link to complete. Good. Great, guys. Next. This kind of goes along with the admin group. As a sponsor, I want to advertise so that I can increase visibility and name recognition. This will be done when sponsors can be identified with their app pool events. A sponsor's logo is visible on the site, and um, people, I'm sorry, users will be able to navigate to sponsor's website from our user group page. Good. Has anybody thought of a new story as we've been talking through this? Yeah, okay. That's really common. And it's okay at this point 
you know, in the process for those users to start writing those stories down. We encourage that. Um, so, all right, next. As a prospective member, I want to view information about the user group so that I can determine if I want to join. Uh, this will this is done when I'm able to view a web page with all membership requirements and benefits and privacy policies. Good. Thanks. Another question on this process? Yes. The, 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 in the situation, do you want to get the police officer to the point where he can write his own stories? Or yes. Or do you always write them as a collaboration where everyone weighs in as you're writing the story? My experience is that some people, they pick it up right away. Um, you guys may have found this in your groups today. Some people pick it up right away. Others, they struggle a little bit with that. So it depends. I will spend, Rusty knows this, um, you know, somebody will come up with a story and be like, well, I have this idea of a feature. And if I think they're struggling, I'll turn around and I'll say, all right, so um, just let's brainstorm through it. You know how I did the objective. And we'll start going through it. And I'll help them write the user story. Uh, sometimes if they're capable to do it, you want them to do it on their own? I do. I do. But in, in this process, it's a little bit different, this kind of round robin deal. We don't normally do that uh, because it's, it's, you know, maybe it's a group the size of one of your groups. <coughs> so what you guys were doing is you were brainstorming. That's really more what our user story generation process looks like. They're brainstorming together and they talk about it. We take them as they brainstorm and we put them up on the wall and then we can come through and prioritize them later. And we'll, we'll go through that here. Shortly, I guess. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's get up to round five. <coughs> so two more rounds, you guys good with that? We'll try and do it, make it quick and painless. Uh, I think we're in the back again, right? There's an ad, I want to moderate users so that users can be blocked. This is done when you can block a user from having access to your elements of the site and then log in. Let's get one. Block the users. All right. You guys next? Yeah. As an attendee, I want to create a profile so that I can store my personal preferences. This is done when I have a photo, uh, my own bio if needed, social networks, desired communication method, that was the big one, and uh, view events that you have attended in the past. Good. I, you guys keep coming up with ones that I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Why didn't I think of that? You know. Uh, okay. Next. As a sponsor, I want to collaborate with other sponsors so that I can explore new technologies. This will be done when I can see a list of events, interest technologies that are hosted by other sponsors, and I can export that information into a spreadsheet. Does so that make sense, to everybody? Collaborate with other sponsors. <laughs> that is another one. Okay. You guys? Um, as a host, I want to know how many attendees are coming so that I can plan facilities accordingly. Uh, have an update exact count of attendees and names. Okay. All right, last time through. As an admin, I want to assign speakers to events so that users know who they are. This is done when speakers are associated with events. Will you read that again? I'm sorry, I was too busy. My mind wandered. As an admin, I want to assign speakers to events so that users know who they are. And this is done when speakers are associated with events. As an attendee, I want to be notified when an event is coming up so that I can prepare to attend. And this is done when I am notified via email, phone, or calendar based on my preferences, select an event, choose the communication, and be able to determine how far in advance. Nice. Thank you. Go ahead. As a sponsor, I want to get a list of other sponsored events present so I can have appropriate personnel on hand. This will be done when I can get a list of events by location, date and time, um, attendees and topics. I can't read that one. I know, those <laughs> yellow cards. I forget what we wrote. No, I lost my tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Last one, right? Yeah. As a prospective member, I went to see other members so I can decide if I want to join. I want to provide a list of active members, my friends that are active, and my anti-friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's going. No, no. <laughs> 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 it's totally better. I've been there before. <laughs> it's really more like, oh, he's speaking. Okay.